Welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a zombies map. In this video we'll be going over player spawns. Player spawns are quite simple so what we want to do is in our 2D view we're going to right click go to info player and then start. Now you want to make sure that it's not in the ground so it can change your view and drag it up to where you want it. I also like to change my grid so I can hit the the three on my keyboard and then raise it up and then go back to four and as you can see it's now eight increments because we're working on eights and then just center it in the middle of the map as you can see here. Now this is going to be a single player spawn so if we were to play single player we wouldn't need anything else however we also want to play multiplayer so to do that we need four additional spawns so right click go to script struct and now we have a little box and again line this up where you want it change the view and make sure it's not in the floor or anything like that or your players will either spawn in the floor or you'll just get an error and then what we're going to do is hit the N key on your keyboard and this is going to bring up our entity window the entity window is pretty much be able to give you uh, st um, attributes and stuff like that a key and a value for this one we're going to give it a target name which is just saying hey what is this items name and we're gonna call it initial underscore spawn underscore points now the computer is gonna handle everything else for us so that's all we have to do then we can hit space copy it put it where we want player 2 player 3 and then player 4 and then we can also bring up the entity window again by hitting the N key and then we can select the player spawns and make them face a certain way by clicking the the directions here so shift click them change where you want them to go and there you go now we have a single player spawn and then we have multiplayer spawns and also make sure that they're at a distance uh, good enough uh, your character is usually about a block a little bit smaller than a block so make sure there's about that distance or else you'll get spawned inside of each other if you're lucky or again your game will crash but that's pretty much it for our spawning so what we'll do is we'll hit control save and now we'll actually compile our level so that we can start playing it so bring up the launcher go to the mod builder and then choose your the name of your mod then we're going to go to mod CSV make sure everything in this window is ticked pretty much and then we're going to tick build mod FF fast file and build IWD file and then just hit build mod now this will take a few moments and depending on how much stuff you have it could take longer but if it's just this simple thing it won't take that long then we'll go over to compile level and we'll find our room again it's the map name don't go to the one underscore patch just the one that has your map name make sure compile BSP lights pass reflections and build fast files is ticked and then we're also going to do run map after compile that way we can play it right away and then just make sure that the mod specific map is ticked and it's under this one which is the one that we built here so just make sure it's the same and it will be and then just hit compile level now this will take a few moments um, it depends on how much stuff I'll bring up a window it will show you everything um, it will bring up another window it does different things um, lighting and reflections and stuff like that which we'll get to in the future so pretty much just give it a few moments and wait for it to do its thing don't click anything just sit here it will load up the game for you and then soon we'll be able to play and then if you get any errors you could probably google them uh, but most likely you won't as long as nothing's in the floor and then here we go we can actually start playing our map now as you can see it's really ugly there's no lighting there's red everywhere and also our character if you see is rainbow we'll be fixing all of these in the future so don't worry but as of right now we went from what a few tutorials and we're already inside of a, a zombie map which is really awesome so we can also shoot we can run around we can do everything in here except for C. So in the next tutorial we'll be going over lighting so that we can actually see in our map but then we can also glitch out because there's no clipping on that. Ooh, we're outside. Oh also as you can see the caulk texture like I said it's invisible so we can actually see inside of our map when obviously we won't be able to get outside so that's not a big deal but if it was you don't want that. But anyhow guys I hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and then, like I said in the next one we'll be going over lighting so that we can actually see inside of our map. Until then, have a good day. Ooh, the dog rounds. Sadly, nothing will spawn.